Hi. And welcome. So that Obi Wan series is coming out later this month. I decided I'll go back and watch all of the Star Wars movies and give you my thoughts and opinions on all of the Star Wars movies and the spin off movies and some of the TV shows that I think. Okay? And I'm gonna break them down in, in two segments. Okay? So what that means is, for this video, I'll give you my thoughts and opinion on the original Star Wars trilogy, and then my next video, my next, my next Star Wars video, I'll give you my thoughts and opinion on the Star Wars Twinkle. And then the next, the next Star Wars video after that, I'll give, give you my thoughts and opinion on the, the Star Wars spin-off movie. That would be like Rogue One, Solo, uh, the Eat Wall movie, the Holiday Special, um, the 2008 Homeworld movie, okay? Every Star Wars spin off movie they ever made, and I'll talk about that in, in, um, in that video, okay? And give my thoughts and opinion. And then, um, and then, after that video, I'll do my, uh, I'll do another Star Wars video, give my thoughts and opinion on some of the Star Wars TV shows that I think. Okay? And then, um, um, then I'll get, then I might, uh, review the Obi-Wan theory for y'all. Then, after I review the Obi-Wan theory for y'all, come back and, uh, give my thoughts and opinion on Star Wars as a general. Okay? So, so now you know, okay? So first off, let me know in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to Obi Wan? And how how excited are you for it? It is your most anticipated thing of the year. And you are you hope it's going to be good? I hope so. I hope didn't need on butcher it. Okay. And um. And for this video, we're just talking about the original Star Wars trilogy. So no sequel, no spin-off, no TV show, no prequel. So go for go for separate videos, okay? So the original Star Wars trilogy. And like always, yeah, I grew up with Star Wars. Yeah, I did not, and I'm a Star Wars fanboy. Do I think Star Wars overrated, underrated? You, you, you gotta ask all, those questions all the time, okay? Same thing with James Bond and then Jones, The Matrix, okay? Uh, any franchise, okay? You gotta you got ask those questions, okay? Um, now, um, so, the couple things I'm gonna talk about. So, I don't want to rush into it. So, I'm breaking down, okay? So, number one, um, I grew up with this box set, Star Wars, okay? Uh, I do remember, but I was little, very little, I do remember going to Walmart, buying this for my dad. Um, okay, so, so, um, so, this was, uh, this was the first Star Wars thing I, I had, okay, and I do have some of the Star Wars toys, okay, some of the action figures, of like the, of like, the, the, like, you know, from, from, from each of the movies, okay, okay. Okay, so I, I got this when I was very little. Okay, I got this at Walmart, and I remember going to Walmart and buying it, getting it with my dad. Okay, and 
to be honest, I, I don't know, remember that much about it. Like, you know, what I'm trying to say is, I, I don't remember my reaction to the original Star Wars trilogy that much when I was little, okay? But I do remember this was the, this was the very first thing I got when I was little. So I, I remember having this before the prequel came out, okay? Okay, and you put, you put it there, and then you got do that. Okay. And then, and then, um, later down the road, I got, I got this. Okay. So, I, I don't remember when I had this, but I knew I had it for a long time, okay? So, I had probably more than 10 years, maybe 15 years or something, but I had it for a long time, okay? Okay? This is the DVD. And no, I don't have it on, I don't have it on uh, Blu-ray or 4K. Okay? Um, okay, um, so, um, I'm going, I'm, I'm just showing some stuff right now, and then there's some questions I like to talk about, and some, 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 some stuff I like to get into in, in just a minute, so bear with me. Um, so I know, I know there's some, uh, like, I know there's some stuff in this, in, in this, in, in this, uh, DVD, cl uh, uh, collection that George Lucas, um, Shane, like, uh, were like Hayden Christian, is the fourth ghost at the end of Return of the Jedi, and I know some people didn't like it. And, okay, um, but I didn't mind that, okay, and then like, like five or six years ago, or something like that, like, I would say, I would say probably like three or four years ago, I went to Half Pipe Book, it's a little bookstore, and, um, and I bought these, and they might be the original VHS tape, of Star Wars. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna show you each of them one by one. Okay, um, now. Um, now, I got each of these for like a dollar or two, maybe three dollars at the most. Um, now, you probably think why I would do that if I don't have a VHS tape player. One, because I feel, uh, one, because, um, uh, uh, I like to I like to collect um, VHS tape because I I, I have um, all the game bombery that I can get on VHS tape and most of them um, I think like 97 to 98 percent of the game bombery I have on VHS tape are from my childhood 
and I still have them. Okay? And another reason I, I, I bought these, even though I don't have a VHS tape player, is because, uh, because um, some of these are like hard to find, and some of these that I'm showing you might have the original footage, and some of these might be the original cut that was shown in the theater, like, you know, instead of Anna, instead of Hayden Christensen and Fourth Ghost at the end of Return of the Jedi, be the other guy, okay? Or Ian McDermott in Empire Strikes Back, it's the other, it's the, it's the woman, okay? Yeah, you might not know that, okay? Or, or it might, it might show, it might actually ha show uh, the guy walking with the hunt solo and drop the hut. Okay. But there for a long time when I was growing up, I, uh, I had, uh, uh, the TV that had a built-in VHS tape player. Okay. And so, if I ever, if I ever met, if I ever met uh, one of you guys in Star Wars, uh, back in the day, I don't know which one of these VHS tapes I would give them, to, get him to, uh, get them to die, because, uh, cause I got so many different versions right here. So I had to find, I had to I had to see which one is the more valuable one. So I got the fresh edition. Then I got I got I got like two or three different versions of Return of the Jedi and New Hope and Empire Strikes right Back. Okay. So the main reason is I I don't want the the original version. I want the original version of uh, of the of the movie. That came in theater back in the day. Okay. Okay. Now. Um. Um. Let, let me spend on that. And a few minutes later I'll tell you. Uh. My Star Wars fan. All that. Okay. Um. I think most uh, Star Wars fans. Will know about the different. Uh. Virgins. You said what different version? Yeah, I think Die Hard fan, um, only Die Hard fan, in my opinion, will know about the different version. Cause you can be a Star Wars fan and like watch these and like them, and probably wouldn't even know about or wouldn't even read about or know about the um, like the different changes, like you know, look at changing uh, the end of Return of the Jedi with Hayden Christensen or. Changing the uh, job of the hut to a slow, to a warm or slow, whatever you want to call it, uh, a new hope, or changing um, um, the emperor from a woman to Ian McDermott. Okay, and and everyone know that he. Is the one that played the Empire, the Emperor, or thought the uh uh uh, you know, the Dick Lord, the Emperor, and all the Thor movies that when the when the Emperor sh showed up in Thor, okay, and the last one he sh he appeared in was the Rise of Skywalker, and I think uh uh. It's played by Ian McDermott, and uh, he did a, he did a fine job and a good job every time he showed up. But sometimes uh, they can do better with his character. But most of the time, he uh, he did a good job. But we'll talk about Rise of Skywalker when I, when I watch it again and get to it. But but. But I wonder if both Star Wars fans know that uh, Ian McDermott was in Empire Strikes Back as the Emperor. 
because I didn't know it until the other day when I looked it up. It was a woman wrapped around a cloth and uh, with a male boy. Wow, I didn't know that. Okay, that's something I didn't know. I knew I knew about I knew about the uh, 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 Han Solo walking walking next to a man uh, and dropping the hunt man, and, th and then they change it to the slug. Okay, that we all knew from the Return of the Jedi. Okay, and then um, and then and then I knew I knew about um. Uh, did they hit you first or did Han shoot first? I knew about that one too, and then I knew about then I knew about uh, the pit and um, drop a pallet when they were trying to throw Han Solo and Luke Skywalker in the pit and it was just a hole. Okay, uh, I, I I knew about those changes and also Anakin Skywalker uh, uh, turned to be. Hagen Christensen, and it wasn't him, it was uh, another guy, okay, um, so, uh, so there were, there were, uh, uh, just some of the small, ch uh, some of the changes that, I th in my opinion, that, um, that, um, uh, Die Hard, Star Fan would know it, okay, and um that's why I, I got these for two three dollars each. So I can say I, I had the original Star Wars movie that came out came out in the year back in the day. Okay. Like I said, for me I just, I just, when I was growing up, when I was little, I just had this. Okay? And I don't remember what my reaction is watching this when I was little, because I was like five or six watching this. And then I was like five or six or seven going into the Phantom Men with my dad and brother. Okay? So I was very little watching Star Wars, okay? Um, okay? Now, yes, I am a, I am a Star Wars fan, but, um, but um the other the other uh the other um movies out there that I'm more of a fan while I was, I was going crazy over when I was little. Why when I was little I was going crazy over Godzilla. Uh I was going crazy definitely going crazy over um uh, uh Scooby Doo movie. Uh you know, you know the cartoon one. And I was definitely going crazy over um, uh, Jane Bond, okay? Because you know, I, you know, I was so happy every time I went to uh, um, Walmart, Damn Goody, Walgreens, so on and so forth, and I picked up a, a Jane Bond movie. I'm like, wow, we don't have that, and buy it. And I went home, watch it with my dad or my brother, and enjoy it. Okay? Because I, I was a Game Bond fanatic at 5 or 6. Yes, I was watching Game Bond at 5 or 6. Okay? Yeah, I also watched Indian Jones at 5 or 6. Like him. Uh, uh, I, I think the one that I remember watching the most when I was 5 or 6 of Indian Jones was Temple of Doom. Okay? Um. The Matrix, the only Matrix I remember watching when I was little, liking the most, or the one I remember watching the most when I was little, uh, is the second one, Reloaded. Okay? Um, now for the Star Wars trilogy, the original one, um, I think the the all three are classic movies. 
I think they all locked them. Um, sometime I wonder what would Star Wars, Star Wars would have been like if it was just one movie. Okay. Um. Um. In my opinion, Star Wars, the original trilogy, is one of the one of the awesome, one of the best trilogies of all time. It's up there with the Back to the Future and Lord of the Rings. Okay. Um. Now. Um. I remember when I was little. Uh, loving and watching um, Return of the Jedi the most. Cause I, I, I kinda learned the fight scene between Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker and the Emperor going <sighs> Hey So when I was little and I got a little older like seven or eight or nine watching Return of the Jedi the most and and liking the fight scene between Luke and Darth Vader, okay? Um, um, I only heard that people say that the Empire Strike Back is the best and Return of the Jedi is the weakest. A lot of people might say Return of the Jedi is the weakest because of the Ewok, but I think they're all good, okay? Uh, I have no problem with anybody saying the new New Hope their favorite or Return of the Jedi their favorite or Empire is their favorite. I'm talking about in in the original trilogy, okay? Um, they're all good, okay? But going back, going back and watching, um, going back and watching um, all three of them again. The, their um, the classic movie, okay, and um, uh, now let's talk about the characters, okay. In the first one, um, uh, it's a short, simple, premise movie. You had, you had a kind of like a you had like a rescue mission. Where they go, they go and rescue um, Prince Leia. Okay, and then um, and then and then, then in the second one, um, let's see, let's see, what about the second one? Um, so, so I think the first one. They make you print the layer, okay. And then, then the second one, um, the bad guy wins, okay. So, in the first one, the good guy wins. The second one, the bad guy wins, okay. So the bad guy get revenge, and the bad guy wins. And then in the uh, then in the, um, the third movie, the bad guy the bad guy lose. Okay. Um, now, now let let's take a look step further. Um, going back and watching the movies again. Um, I realized that the humor worked very well, unlike, uh, unlike the MCU. The MCU, I'm sorry, I am a fan of the MCU, but they don't know, they don't know how to put the humor right. They, they put, they, they, I like the humor sometimes in the MCU, but a lot of time they put the humor wrong. Oh, a good fight scene. Oh, 
what we have a dye or tinea uh, tain well if it's it, it going to be heavy a lot of fighting or it's supposed to be dead or dark or serious well they add some uh, humor in it some joke that's the MCU well the original Star Wars trilogy they do it right with the humor stuff like like um none of the characters were annoying like like but the first hour when 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 you like I would say I would say almost the first hour or the first forty minutes when you with the C three PO and R two D two and New Hope and they're they're walking in the dead do it. The sand, whatever you wanna call it. They were funny. And and been a long time since I watched the New Hope. And I'm like, wow, they're funny. Okay. And that humor worked really good. Okay. And and then um okay, and then when uh Ben Kenobi and Luke and them on the on on the ship with uh Han Solo and Chewbacca going to rescue, going to rescue, um, um, Hunter Leia and them, then, um, there was some good humor in it, good humor, when, when, when he, uh, practicing me with the lightsaber and stuff, it was good humor, okay, so, yeah, so, so the original Star Wars trilogy had some good humor, but they didn't they didn't overdo it like the, like the uh, the MCU. That's one thing I don't like about the MCU is they overdo it with the humor. Like, oh oh uh, heavy fight heavy fighting or or it's very sad or 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 you know or the violent fighting or it's or you know, that could get very sad or that could be violent. Let add some, let add some some joke, you know. Um. Um. I like the dynamic between Luke, Han, and Leia. They all three are good, and all three of them. Okay, um, in the first one, you thought that Han from be, you thought that Han, um, was gonna be a, um, a character that took care about himself and, and don't care about nobody else. And you know, he, cause he had to, he did, he really needed the money. And um he really needed the money to pay off Jabba the Hutt. And so he that's why he he had to get the money and go back to pay Jabba the Hutt. And that's why it, it hurt it hurt it hurt it hurt uh Han Solo. And what happened? He got captured in the Empire right back and then and took to Jabba Palace and returned to the Jedi. Okay? Um so, um, I think, I think, uh, I think the Hunt Solo is funny. Um, hey, it's me. Um, and, um, uh, even, uh, C-3PO, a chemistry with, uh, C-3PO. Hey, where are you going? Come back here. You know, so he good. Um, uh, yeah. So, um, so if you ask me which one, which one my favorite, 
Are you today or are you today uh, Return of the Jedi? Because you know, I I I, I like the fight scene between Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker and then the Emperor chalking uh uh Luke Skywalker and Luke Skywalker go, Father help help me father. Yeah, that's one of my favorite scenes. Definitely still is one of my favorite scenes of Star Wars. Probably my top five favorite scenes in Star Wars. Uh, but um so I can understand and I can see anybody saying one of these is their favorite Star Wars movie. And maybe even uh Revenge of Death. So um so I have to go back and watch the prequel. And to see if uh, Revenge of the Death might be my favorite, because I still like Revenge of the Death. I, I don't, I don't get the hate of that movie, because that movie is awesome. Um, so, uh, Luke Skywalker is an awesome icon character. Leia is an awesome female ca female character in movie history. She won the best female character in movie history, along with like, uh, uh. You know, uh, who, who's that one I'm thinking of? Trin Trinity, okay? So when I think of some awesome female uh, uh, character in movie history, I think of Trin Trinity and Prince Leia, because, you know, you know, they're not dim uh, dim during the dress. Okay. Unlike what they did to, uh, you know, Harry Berry character in Dying of the Day. Oh, help me, help me, uh, Bob, help me. Annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Or that one, or the other Bond, Bond girl that was in, like, what, what the uh, man with the going gun. Jane Bond, you per put her in the closet. Yeah, another bad female movie character. Yeah. Um. So, uh, so, but definitely these three would be in my top 100 favorite movies of all time. I like these. These three are definitely you know, rewatchable. I can watch these any time of the year. And still love the movie. Uh, love Luke. Love Punta Leia. Love Han Solo. Um, I'll probably have to say I like Harrison Ford in the Indian Jones franchise. Cause I think, I think when I was little, I like Harrison Ford and Indian Jones more. And I can't wait for uh, hit, uh, Indian Jones 5. Hopefully, they don't mess that up. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. So, um. Okay. Um. So, if you want, if you want to go ahead and tell me. In the comment section below, which which of these three is your favorite New Hope, um, Empire Strikes Back, or Return of the Jedi? Um, for me, I'm not gonna tell you which one is my favorite, or even try to tell you until I watch all the, all the Star Wars movies. And then, if after I watch all the Star Wars movies, and if I don't if I don't have one. Then I'll tell you I don't have one. Or, or I might tell you uh, I have a tie. Okay? Um, right now, for, for, for these three, I, I like all these three. First three, New Hope, and Pike Right Back, and, uh, um, Turn of the Jedi. I would say I like, Empire and Return of the Jedi and my favorite, then New Hope. Okay? Um 
over another reason why, another reason why, um, uh, all these three movies are good because, uh, uh, none of the characters were boring, like Leia, C3PO, R2D2, Chewbacca, you know, Chewie, Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, or even Lando. Okay, I like Lando. Um, okay. I like, I like, I like, I like him, him. Okay. Um. Okay, when you first see him in Empire Strikes Back, you didn't, you, can't, you didn't really like him, and you thought he was like a traitor, and you didn't care if he came back or not. But then, and then, uh, he saw what he did, okay, and then, and then he tried to help out and uh, return to the Jedi, okay? So, um, I think I like, Return of the Jedi and Empire Strikes like Back and my two favorite of out of the three. Okay. So um the the Wolfie when I watch the prequel if the uh, Revenge of the Dead is my favorite or if they tie along with Empire of Revenge of the Dead of uh, Return of the Jedi and my favorite. Okay? If, if, if they are tied, then New Hope will be my fourth, my fourth favorite, okay? Um, so, um, um, yeah, so, um, so in conclusion, I am a Star Wars fan. But, um, and, um, now, if you want to know, if you want to know my, my, my really thoughts and opinion about should they keep making Star Wars movie, all that, that would be later on the road, like a week or so, or whatever, whenever I talk about Star Wars in general, my thoughts and opinion in Star Wars, okay? I was just, I was just trying to do my, my, my very best on just tr talking about the original Star Wars trilogy, okay? Um, so, and let me know also in the comment section down below, when you was a little kid, which one, which one do you like better? The Indian Jones franchise or the original Star Wars trilogy. Um, I think that both are iconic, but if I had to pick only one, I'll probably have to go with Indian Young. Cause I love Harrison Ford and Indian Young. I love Indian Young franchise, and Harrison Ford is one of my favorite actors. I, I like him in uh, Air Force One. One of my favorite Harrison Ford movies, uh, I would pick uh, Indiana Jones. Okay? Um, so, thank you for watching. And, um, and let me um, look forward uh, to my thoughts and opinion on my next video on the uh, trickle thorn, okay? And, um, and, and uh, later on the road, like two or three videos from now, when I give my thoughts and opinion on thorns as a general, that's when I'll uh, uh, try to, to come up with my favorite thorn movie, what my favorite thorn movie, okay? And thank you for watching.